Princess Anne and her then-husband, Captain Mark Phillips, and Maid of Honor Rowena Jane Blessy were in the royal car. The car was driven by royal chauffeur Alex Callender. In front of him sits Inspector James Beaton of the Metropolitan Police, so 14 of the Royal Defense Command. Beaton was the only officer assigned to protect the princess that night. At that time, there was no special training for royal guards, as the threat to family members was almost ignored. Even the queen is usually assigned only one armed guard when she is on official business. However, the Beaton was equipped with a semi-automatic Walther PPK. As Callender drove through the mall, the driver of the white Ford began to act strangely. The caller attempted to pull over the vehicle, but was unsuccessful. The Ford then crashed into Austin and stopped in front of it, blocking its path. Hello and welcome to Royal Insider. If you're here for the first time, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss all our Royal updates. Beaton got out of the car, as did Ford driver Ball. He later told police, I've been thinking about this for years. She, and would have been the easiest. I have seen her riding horses with her husband. Bomba had two pistols with him. As Beaton walked around Austin, still thinking it was a traffic dispute, Ball shot him in the shoulder from about two feet away. Ball, who was unemployed, anticipated violence and prepared to use his gun. He told the police, well, the police, that's their job. They want to be shot. I took the chance to get shot. Why didn't they? Then Ball walked over to Austin and opened the door. The princess and his wife held tightly to the handle. Beaten, wounded, returned to the car and placed his body between Ball and the royal couple. The Ball took another shot, hit Beaten again, then hit Beaten in the chest at close range. Calendar, the driver, got out of the car. The bomb shot him and he retreated to the car. Bauer then managed to open the door and grab Princess Anne's hand. She said he told her, come out, you have to come, to which she famously replied, damn unlikely.